What is going on guys? This is Alex with Baseball Cards AF back with another video. Um, this one I'm going to be doing a little bit differently here. Um, instead of showing off my cards or breaking open stuff or uh, um, reading the next issue of Beckett, um, I'm going to be showing off some other people's personal collections. Um, my guinea pig Nathan, thank you Nathan for allowing me to do this for the first video of this concept. So. If you guys want to stick around, um, roll the intro and let's let's show off uh, Nathan's collection. So this is a, a segment I think I'm going to be calling Extra Spicy PCs. Alright, so you made it through the intro and uh, here's what uh, Mr. Nathan had written down. He sent me a message there. I'm just giving a little bit of the cliff notes on what he wrote. And then uh, I will show off some of the cards um, throughout the video and then I uh, give some of my take on it and whatnot and just show off and let his collection speak for himself. Uh, he said he had a hard time narrowing the collection he wanted to highlight down so that's pretty cool. Um, he's got so many that uh, he loves and, and enjoys that uh, he couldn't just narrow it down to five or six. Um, but he was able to, and I appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Again, uh, Nathan, I really appreciate you letting me attempt this um, type of video. Nathan has just been collecting for just over a year, which I think is impressive. Um, he uh, reached, I reached out to him when I found out uh, he was new to collecting. I wanted to help him out, give him some tips and whatnot. And uh, he's he's one of the big ballers. He goes for that high end stuff, and I really uh, appreciate. The, uh, the discourse that we have back and forth. Even though he's a Cubs fan, I'm a Cardinals fan, I, I really like our, uh, our communication and whatnot that we've got. So yeah, he's just been uh, collecting for just over a year, uh, and he said uh, what kind of sparked his interest was uh, his experience at Wrigley. Um, and I, I can attest to that. Uh, Wrigley Field was historic and it was an incredible experience. I got a Randall Gritchick uh, autograph. I was able to meet him down at the um, during batting practice at Wrigley. So Wrigley definitely has a, a special place in my heart as well. He said that his his favorite brand is Panini Flawless. And if you guys don't know, Panini Flawless is a very, very clean, nice looking brand. And uh, he has some really nice cards. And he actually um, hooked me up with a, a Flawless of Matt Carpenter, if I uh, recall correctly. Um, he, he gave me a Carpenter Flawless card uh, about a year ago or so. So again, thank you so much, man. Um, now on to his favorite card, which would definitely be a favorite card of mine. He has a Mike Trout patch autograph from Topps Dynasty. Wow. Take a look at this thing. This thing is just incredible. Um, I would love to have a Mike Trout. I think anyone who collects baseball cards or has an appreciation for the game would love a Mike Trout autograph. Arguably, uh, if not the best player currently, um, the best player of our generation. Now, he's big into baseball, and that's what I talk to him about the most, but he's also into football. And uh, his Holy Grail Chase card... Uh, is is one that I think might be a little difficult to get, but I have no doubt if anyone could find one, it's going to be him. Um, he is searching for a Brett Favre patch auto numbered one of one. So uh, best of luck on that. And on the baseball front, he's also looking for a Barry Bonds autograph. So as far as his PC goes, he uh, he collects the Cubs, but more specifically Ian Happ. And I think the reason he collects him is because he was able to meet him at the Cubs team store. And uh, he said from there he was convinced he was going to be a star. And man, was he right. It's what's happening. Sorry for the pun. Um, this dude has an insane, like, I'm not even showing you some of the Hap cards that he's sent me that he's got. Just now I kind of want to show off his collection and uh, hope you guys enjoy um, as much as I have and as much as he has uh, collecting it and whatnot. And if you guys are interested, please definitely uh, let me know. I'd love to do this for some other folks as well. So anyway, uh, without further ado, uh, here are just a couple of his cards in his collection. All right, so the first card that uh, Nathan wanted me to show off and I wanted to show to you guys is this beautiful Topps 5-star Ian Happ uh, one of one 
And uh, the thing I like about it, not that it's autographed, but that it has the Majestic logo on it. Um, my brother is a jersey collector, so I also have a fondness of jerseys. The fact that he's got the Majestic logo on a card, this beautiful jumbo relic with the on-card autograph, super, super nice. And then the fact that it is one of one, just incredible here. Uh, to continue on with the Ian Happ one of one train, he's got this awesome Inception card uh, that has an inscription, Go Cubs. Um, I love this. This is awesome with the nice gold bronze tone Sharpie um, and just the nice black background. Just to show you guys off a little bit more, this Topps Dynasty of Mike Trout. Um, one of five with the angels looks like a commemorative patch for the relic there. Nice encased in a one touch, just clean looking for sure. Um, switching over to uh, non-baseball, he's got this nice Brett Favre autograph on card um, with a nice little patch. It looks like it's got a little bit of the uh, jersey number. Um, in that from what I can see and this is from his favorite brand Panini Flawless to go with this non-sport theme He went ahead and wanted me to show off this awesome uh, Felicity Jones on card autograph from Topps Archives Star Wars So from the Rogue One series of Star Wars He's got this really nice clean signature on this uh, encased Star Wars card for Rogue One and last but not least, my favorite card that he sent me, uh, mainly because of the, the detail and the patch that he has. It's from Panini Flawless, which is his favorite. The autograph is pretty clean. And then just that Cubs logo. It's got the bottom of the C with part of the bear's leg. Uh, the action photo for Mr. Hap here is awesome. Um, just a really clean and awesome card here. I know I'm saying awesome a lot, but how else do you describe this guy's collection? My goodness gracious. Anyway, thank you so much, Nathan. I really appreciated uh, uh, you allowing me to do this. And thank you guys for watching. And you know the routine, as always. Till next time. See ya.